Welcome back to the channel everybody and with this time we're actually going to have some exciting discussions around the recently announced PGA Tour 2K23. First and foremost, the most important part of this is the release date. If you choose to buy the PGA Tour Deluxe Edition or Tiger Woods Edition, these will be a worldwide release on Tuesday, October 11th, 2022, which is just right around the corner. If you choose to buy the standard edition, you get it three days later, Friday, October 14th. Uh, they also announced a roster of PGA and actually some LPGA players that will be included in the game. They haven't released the full roster yet, but obviously Tiger Woods is included, uh, Justin Thomas, Tony Finau, Colin Morikawa, Will Zalatoris, and some of the LPGA players, Lexi uh, Thompson, uh, Lindia Ko, I'm not even sure if I'm saying all this correctly. You'll be able to play as these players in exhibition matches, uh, the Divot Derby, or even multiplayer. Or, of course, a lot of us like to go head-to-head -head with these players in the My Career mode, where you kind of climb the leaderboard and go head-to-head -head against these pros in the tournaments. Speaking of the tournaments, there's actually more licensed courses at launch for this new game. Uh, some of the new additions include South Course of Wilmington Country Club, the Renaissance Club, St. George's Golf and uh, Country Club, and, and many more. Uh, my, my player personalization returns, and players can equip their my players just like Tiger with uh, Nike Golf, Tailor Made, Bridgestone Golf apparel and gear. Um, they've also announced some some other brands, and some of these were in the last game as well. But like Call, uh, Callaway, Footjoy, Malbone Golf, Nike Golf, Puma, Titleist, Travis Matthew, many more. Uh, clubs and balls from brands including Bridgestone Golf, Callaway Golf, Cobra, Zuno, Odyssey, uh, Taylor Made, Titleist, you know Wilson. All these things are included, and some of these were included in the, the old game, but. Um, a lot of them are new as well. Um, there's obviously going to be a variety of difficulty settings, which is really helpful for the new players who are coming into the game. And, and I don't know if, for those of you who haven't played any of the golf club games or PGA Tour 2K21, the difficulty settings can be manipulated to your liking. Uh, if you watch some of my videos, you'll see that most of my settings are set to hard, but when I'm trying to play, I'm trying to relax, so I set the swing setting to Pro or Pro-Am. Uh, lately, it's been more Pro-Am. Uh, so basically, the swing is a little bit easier, but everything else is kind of realistic. There's not, none of the arcade arcs and colors in the air. It doesn't do the math for you, stuff like that. Um, I wanted to kind of just go over some of the differences in the additions. Uh, obviously, the standard edition, you can get a physical or digital. It's going to be released on the Xbox One, the Series X, Series S, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, of course uh, the PC as well. Um, players who pre-order any version of the Standard Edition will receive Michael Jordan. Uh, it's a bonus pack with Michael Jordan as well as some of the you know stuff that he comes with. I'm, I'm assuming like shoes, um, sleeves, and, and other apparel that might come with the uh, Pre-order players who purchase the standard edition of the game uh, for Series X, S, or PlayStation 5 consoles, which include cross-generational dual entitlement, will also receive the Golden Club Pack uh, for the game on Xbox One or PS4, respectively. So that's just all the standard edition includes all of that stuff. And then you kind of level up to the Deluxe Edition. Uh, so what it says for the Deluxe Edition is that for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles includes the base game with cross-generation dual entitlement, as well as the Michael Jordan bonus pack, Golden Club pack, and Deluxe Edition bonus pack, which includes 1300 VC, which is the virtual currency in the game, a hockey stick putter, gold baseball cap, gold glove, and three rare consumable golf ball sleeves. Uh, PC also gets these things as well. And then the next level is the Tiger Woods Edition. Uh, this includes all the content that I just went over from the Standard and Deluxe Editions, but it also includes the Tiger Woods Edition Bonus Pack, which includes a Tiger Woods tailor-made wedge set, Nike golf t-shirt, and three epic consumable golf ball sleeves. 
uh, plus the Tiger Woods signature Sunday pack, which includes red polo, black pants, black hat, you know, the signature look. Um, Nike golf belt, Bridgestone golf tour BXS, uh, Tiger edition golf ball. Uh, we keep hearing things about like the golf ball sleeves. And what, what I came to understand is that balls will have some sort of attributes of their own. So some balls might be able to shape better in the air, roll further, go further. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly. I need to look more into this, but it sounds pretty cool. They're also adding skills to the game. Uh, so I'm assuming the skills work as if you're leveling up and, and you can, your, your golfer kind of gets a little bit better and you can choose what skills to focus on in, in a particular order, maybe depending on uh, your skill level, maybe where you're struggling. If you're struggling off the tee, you might increase the skill around your drive or your three woods. Um, I'm not really sure exactly how this looks. I do hope to learn more and maybe I can share that with you guys. But I just wanted to give you some general information. I'm really excited about this game. I have hundreds and hundreds of hours in PGA Tour 2K21. Obviously, I've only shared a few videos on it. I didn't think anybody would really be interested in watching the golf game. Uh, but I kind of put that aside. and I, I'm interested in it, so I share it. Um, anyway, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, the background is just a TPC. It's a 2K21 gameplay, obviously. It's TPC Scottsdale, which is the closest course to my home. I've never actually played it. It's a little bit overpriced for what it is. <laughs> but uh, enjoy the rest of the video, or you can opt out now. Look forward to that new game, October 11th. Hope you have a good one. Appreciate you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.